guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this hair using some products from the drugstore. Some of them are probably familiar to you guys because I have used one of the items in my video before, but I added a little extra razzle dazzle on it um, just to make it a little bit more defined and I love how my hair turned out. It's super defined. Um, I did stretch my hair with my blow dryer. I didn't stretch it that much and then I actually ended up separating it today. Like I kind of stretched it but I didn't separate it and I ended up uh, separating it today. Um, but I love how it turned out. I love how soft my hair is. It is not flaky. There's no white residue. It just came out super pretty and kind of like almost like how I thought it would. It kept my nice little shape that it has going on here. Um, I love this. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys love it too. Um, if you guys want to see what I use and then definitely stay tuned through the video. Also, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you do not miss any of my uploads and turn your notifications on as well because you will miss them if they aren't turned on and you won't be notified when I upload a new video, which I do try to upload once a week, either on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Um, sometimes I upload on all of those days. So, depends on the week, but I do try to upload at least once a week right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Okay, so per usual, I'm starting off with freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. I do have my leave-in, which I do apply in the shower. Um, and I'm just going in and spraying wet my hair with some water just to make sure it's very, very soaking wet. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with the Shea Moisture. I believe this is the Shea Oil. I'm just gonna apply that to my hair just for some added moisture. Um, since I am just using the these two products I'm gonna go on with the Garnier Fructis butter cream and I'm gonna apply that as my cream and just work that in I have done a wash and go using just this as my styler so I will have that link in the cards if you guys want to check that out but I kind of wanted to take this up a notch and I'm going to separate that section and I'm going to detangle with my tweezerman brush and then I'm gonna go in with the wet line extreme extreme gel as my styler this is the newer one the one that has like the navy top I'm gonna go in with that one and apply that to my hair as my final styler and just rake that through I did not shingle for this video which you guys know I do usually like shingling if I wanted a defined wash and go that was gonna last more than you know a few days but I just went in and raked and did the praying hands method for this particular wash and go because I kind of wanted my hair to be more on like the afro kind of style um, and I do do pretty small sections for this just so that the curls are a little bit more defined um, once I stretch my hair so that's why I'm taking each section and I'm breaking it down to about three sections before I apply the gel and I'm just gonna repeat that process all over my entire head
So after I applied all the product, I then decided that I wanted a side part. So I just switched that over before I left my hair to dry. And then I just go back in and like just touch up any areas just to make sure that there aren't any frizzy areas and everything like that. So I go through and smooth, apply any more product if I need to apply product, wet my hair if I need to wet my hair. Um, just to make sure everything is nice and smooth as you guys can tell it is just laying nice no frizz coming up and then this is my hair after I applied all of the product and then this is after I let my hair um, sit, sat in the dryer and then I stretched it the next day and this is how my hair looks I love how this turns out it was actually super soft this Garnier buttercream is really really nice um, and then combine that with the wet line extreme gel um, it my hair obviously is going to dry with a little bit of crunch but once you just scrunch that out and stretch it it's just really really soft really really big and I love when my hair is nice and big and flowy so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you guys in my next one thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel bye guys